Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum. Alright, so uh, now let's reflect on the activity that you have done with your um, groups, yeah, uh, in the collaborative activities where we have to come up with their uh, mind maps. Alright, so uh, this is another example of how we can actually uh, use Canva for uh, collaborative activities with our students so that uh, we can actually encourage uh, for active learning as well as uh, student-centered learning. Okay, um, in this example, uh, you can actually ask your students to uh, prepare a mind maps or some kind of a summary or a synthesis of a topic. Yeah, rather than we ask students to um, write a long uh, essay, okay, this can be another uh, way of um, doing uh, the activity. Okay, uh, because we know that now we, we might have um, challenge in terms of uh, plagiarism uh, on the use of chat GPT and so on. So if we ask the students to come up with an essay uh, on topics like this, they might uh, just copy and paste. So what we can do is actually uh, ask our students to uh, come up with a mind map because uh, through the mind maps, they can actually um, do some kind of uh, readings, okay, uh, perhaps uh, synthesizing on the information that they get and uh, summarizing the points and work in a team uh, to come up with the uh, most uh, concise uh, information related to the topic. So, um, through this activity, as we can see here, okay, we can see uh, who are collaborating, yeah, uh, in that work. Okay, and as the instructor, as the lecturer, we can actually uh, monitor yeah, the progress or uh, the activities conducted by the students um, either uh, during uh, class time or even uh, during uh, out of class. Yeah, so meaning that we can actually um, monitor it uh, remotely, okay, from uh, our own uh, place, yeah, uh, at our own time. So um, this is an activity that we can actually uh, give to our students, okay, so that they can work uh, collaboratively uh, for post-class activity as well as for um, asynchronous uh, activities. All right, so another feature uh, that we can do through this uh, collaborative uh, activity is that uh, the instructor can actually uh, leave a comment or uh, provide feedback, yeah, uh, continuous feedback uh, during the activity and the students can actually uh, reply back, yeah, to the uh, instructor. All right, so I hope that uh, all of you have uh, gained something from this activity. It's not just that you learn about the topic, okay, through collaborative activities with your uh, colleagues, with your friends, but also as a simulation where you can actually apply it with your uh, students.